we call the, the Guadalupe bass our indicator species. We've got indicator species all over the place, but that's the iconic one. But when the Guadalupe bass is doing well, for the right reasons, everything else is doing well also. It's that. And then, of course, once when we got it named the state fish of Texas, uh, that helped a lot, too. Uh, Texan pride kicks in at that point. But uh, it was it was named the state fish for a reason. It represents something really special about Texas, the, the beautiful hill country, the, the clean flowing streams and the endemic species sport fish that's there. In fact, some of that wording is in the enabling legislation that named it the state fish. There was a, uh, I believe it was a third grade class in Decatur, Texas. Their teacher called me and said they were doing a little program on uh, the state things and they realized there's no state fish. So uh, somehow she got my name and asked, and she'd done a little research and she said, uh, I think the Pecos pupfish. She said, wouldn't that make a great state fish? And I said, nope, <laughs> it wouldn't. I love it. <laughs> but uh, I just don't think that we'd get that through the Texas legislature. But I've got one that would. And that's the Guadalupe bass. So uh, I worked with those kids. We got T-shirts made. We got buttons made. Uh, we went before the Texas legislature. Uh, the Natural Resources Subcommittee, I believe it was, and gave testimony to have those little kids walk up there, you know, with their prepared little speeches was just so cute. Uh, then I got up as the expert witness. And uh, and this is no lie. I, I couldn't believe it. I So I gave the whole spiel about why it was special and, and why it would make sense for it to be the, the state fish. And one of those legislators held his hand up and said, that's all well and good. But the Florida bass is a much more popular sport fish. So don't you think that really should be our state fish? The other legislators turned and looked and said, the Florida bass is our state fish. That doesn't make any sense, dude. <laughs> so they laughed that one out and uh, and move forward with it. And uh, we got it named the state fish, which was great. Uh, it kind of, uh, you know, put a spotlight on it. At that time, there were rumblings, some talk within the Fish and Wildlife Service. Of, you know, your research in Guadalupe Bass has shown us that this probably should be listed as a threatened species. It, it fits all the criteria of a threatened or even maybe an endangered species. So maybe we should list it. And I said, you know, you're going to you're going to walk into a buzzsaw in Texas trying to do that. But if we get it named the state fish, that's probably for Texas, that's probably going to give it more protection than the Endangered Species Act. <laughs> and uh, I said, because it's it's going to be protected. It's just going to be. And uh, so anyway, we, we avoided that issue as well by getting it named the state fish. 